okay. So you just took the personality assessment and now you have a much better understanding of who you are. So how did you do? Are you an otter and you just love to have fun and love to have a good time with all your friends and you're a great storyteller? Or are you a beaver and you just like to do your job and get things done and you're not really this big extrovert who likes to go to parties, but you're more of an introvert that would rather sit there at the computer and get a job done and focus on what you're doing. Maybe you're a golden retriever and you just love school and you love the people you're with and you're not into all this drama at all. Or maybe you're a lion. And if you're a lion, you're probably getting ready to take over the school or at least take over the classroom that you're in, right? But either way, now you have an understanding on who you are and as to what you maybe could be more suited for in the future. So let's say you're a student, you're, you're a late high school student at the moment, and you're either headed into college or you're headed into a career. And you wanna know, how is this really gonna help me, Darren? Like how is understanding all these personality traits gonna make me a better student in college or gonna further my career or excel my career quicker? Well, that's easy. You see, when students go through college, a lot of times, let's say they sign up for a four-year program. Well, do you know there's probably like 30% or less on average students that actually get through college in that four years? And a lot of the reason is because they don't really have a clear understanding on who they are yet, and they really don't have a clear picture of exactly what they wanna do when they get out of college. Yeah, you might, you might know what vocation you wanna go into. Maybe I wanna go into the medical field, but do you wanna be a nurse or do you wanna be an ER technician or do you wanna be an anesthesiologist? And this could be the same with any vocation that you're going into. Maybe you wanna go into the automotive industry. Do you wanna be in sales or do you wanna be in service? Or are you a lion and you wanna own your own business, maybe own the dealership? So understanding who you are could help you understand where you wanna go. And by understanding that, we could work with your guidance counselors and we could work with your career development team in college and we could get you through the exact right courses to get you to your destination quicker, get you graduated on time and with less student loan or less cost. Now, maybe you're a student and you're saying, you know what, Darren, college isn't for me. I am ready to go right into my career. Well, great, because now that we know who you are internally, we could better suit you for the position you wanna go into. So let's say you wanna go into the food service industry, okay? I own a restaurant. Well, now, knowing your personality, if you're an otter, well, I'm gonna put you out front with the, with the customers, with the guests, right? So you could either work a host position, you could work a bartending position, something that allows you to talk and converse and communicate and socialize with these people. But yet, if you're a beaver and you're hardworking, maybe you're better suited for back of the house work. Okay, either way, now we understand who you are, we could place you better. Remember earlier I talked to you about the book by Jim Collins, Good to Great, and we said it's not only important to get on the bus and get the right people on the bus, it's even more important to get them in the right seat on the bus. So this is why it's so important that you took the first step in understanding who you are and understanding your God-given personality type. Now the assessment that you took is just a, it's just a start, okay? And we told you at the end of that assessment what your dominant trait is. Well, really there's four traits. There's the beaver, there's the lion, there's the otter, and there's the golden retriever. And we told you your dominant trait, but you know what? Everybody has a mix of all four, okay? Myself, I am highest in beaver, but second highest in lion, okay? Very low otter and very low golden retriever. So that makes me more suited to very specific roles in different industries I might go into. And it's the same for you. So if you wanna learn more and you're ready to take this to the next step, just give us a call. Okay, go to our website, look at some of the offerings that Skills Academy has, and we would love to help you further this understanding because it's gonna make all the difference 
in getting through college quickly with low loans or getting further in your career quicker. So we can't wait to work with you. We look forward to it. Have a great day.